This video will provide an overview of three types of milk sample collection for bacterial culture, specifically the individual quarter sample, the composite sample, and the bulk tank sample. Before beginning, all of the necessary equipment should be assembled, including pre-milking teat dip, paper towels, alcohol swabs, sterile and labeled sample tubes, and a cooler with ice or ice packs. The operator should be wearing gloves to prevent bacteria from his or her hands from contaminating the sample. Pre-sanitize the entire teat skin using a pre-milking teat dip and allow at least 30 seconds of contact time. Then wipe the teat dry with a clean paper or cloth towel. Scrub the teat end with an alcohol soaked gauze or wipe and repeat if there is dirt on the swab. Strip out the first several squirts of milk onto the floor. Open the sample tube and hold the tube at an angle to prevent debris from falling into the tube and contaminating the sample. Squirt out several milliliters of milk into the sample tube. Close the sample tube and place it immediately in the cooler. If the sample will not be shipped to the lab for culturing within 24 hours, it should be frozen until it is shipped. Milk samples should be shipped in a cooler with ice packs by overnight courier. Be sure to include a completed sample submission form with the samples. A composite sample contains a mixture of milk from all four quarters in one sample tube. An advantage of a composite sample is that it allows us to screen for contagious organisms with less cost than sampling each quarter individually. A disadvantage, however, is that the ability to detect a single infected quarter may decrease due to dilution with milk from the uninfected quarters. Also, the risk of contamination of the sample increases because the sample tube is open to the environment longer. Pre-sanitize the entire skin of all four teats using a pre-milking teat dip and allow at least 30 seconds of contact time. Wipe the teats dry with a clean paper or cloth towel. Using an alcohol soaked gauze or swab, scrub each teat end, working from the furthest teat to the nearest to prevent contaminating a clean teat with the operator's hand or arm. Starting from the nearest teat and working to the furthest, strip out the first several squirts of milk onto the floor. Open the sample tube and hold the tube at an angle to prevent debris from falling into the tube and contaminating the sample. Squirt out several milliliters of milk from each teat into the sample tube. 
Repeat the process for the other three teats, working from nearest to furthest. Close the sample tube and place it immediately in the cooler. Avoid overfilling the tube because the top may pop open when frozen. If the sample will not be shipped to the lab for culturing within 24 hours, it should be frozen until it is shipped. Milk samples should be shipped in a cooler with ice packs by overnight courier. Be sure to include a completed sample submission form with the samples. Bulk tank samples give us an idea of the numbers and genera of bacteria in the milk, including contagious and environmental pathogens that come from the udders of infected cows, as well as environmental contaminants that come from the teat skin, the milking parlor environment, and the milking system. We can use a bulk tank sample to screen a herd for contagious mastitis pathogens such as Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus agalactia, and Mycoplasma bovis. The level of environmental bacteria in the bulk tank milk gives us an idea of the cleanliness of the milking process and the performance of the post-milking wash-up procedures. To get a representative sample, the tank agitator must be turned on and allowed to run for at least 10 minutes. Samples should never be collected from the tank outlet since this area can be contaminated. Make sure all of the necessary equipment is ready. Gloves, a dipper, dipper disinfecting solution, a sterile sample tube, and a cooler with ice. Label the tube and put on gloves. Disinfect the dipper with a product that is approved for use on milking equipment, such as dilute sodium hypochlorite solution. Collect a sample of milk from 4 to 6 inches below the milk surface and discard it because of the antibacterial effects of the residual disinfecting solution. Repeat once more. Then, carefully pour about 20 milliliters of milk into a labeled sterile sample tube. Finally, place the sample in a cooler with ice. If the sample will not be shipped to the lab for culturing within 24 hours, it should be frozen until it is shipped. Bulk tank samples should be shipped in a cooler with ice packs by overnight courier. Be sure to include a completed sample submission form with the sample.